Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction. Ooh, sorry for shaking the camera there for a second. Da this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to make a quick review about this Karcher K3 Follow Me unit. Now folks, it's leaking there, but that's not from anything on the Karcher. It's leaking from my hose fitting there. But I'm looking at the back end of this thing. Folks, when I bought this thing, I said to myself, how wonderful it is. I'll have this thing follow me around as I'm working in my driveway. I only wanted to buy it just to wash cars here at my own home if I chose and I didn't want to take out my electric power washer in my truck that I use for my business. So I went out and bought this thing. I don't know what I paid for it. It was under $200. I didn't have the highest amount of expectations for it. It's a Karcher. I guess they make pretty nice electric power washers if you have that perspective of the company. But this is what I want to talk about. You notice that it's got this wand on it, right? The hose. That's cool. That's how this thing's going to follow you around. You're going to have to pull it by a very important component. I think it's an important component. It's the actual hose and the wand, right? Now, if this thing, if you've got to pull this thing to follow you around it's a cool concept and now I've just said that's a very important part of the unit how long is this thing gonna last with all that stress of pulling on the unit with an important part of the power washer well the reason why we're looking at the back end of this thing if you notice I have my garden hose connected to it the fitting on this Karcher you see how high it is off the back end of this thing this thing's like a mini pickup truck and this is an exhaust pipe Folks, what I have here is my garden hose. It's one of those vinyl type of garden hoses. These are awfully heavy. And now I've got water coming through it. You see how long that fitting is there between my hose fitting and the back of the Karcher? This concerns me. It's all made out of plastic. There's a lot of weight on that connection kind of pulling down. And also, guess what? When I have to pull it, now I'm pulling it by an important part of the unit, which is the wand and its hose. I have to pull the weight of the Karcher follow me unit. Now I have to pull the weight of this hose. My point is if you're going to use this thing and think this thing's going to follow you around, you're going to have to get one of those expandable hoses. Those, And we know how, you know, the quality of those things. You're going to need something very lightweight because if you pull this around a lot, you're going to break this connection. It's too high up off the ground. Most of us in the real world are going to have some type of vinyl or rubber hose. This is where I look at the R&D with Karcher and go, boy, what were they thinking? This is kind of a miserable fail right out of the box, but guess what? I bought it. Now I'm going to set this camera down and talk about the pros of this unit. There are not many. Folks, hold on a second. Let me try to adjust this camera. I am so sorry. Let me come down here and I'll talk about this thing. What's very interesting about this, too, and I want to talk about the fit and finish with this with this Karcher. This is the wand, right? This wand is all plastic. When you pull this thing out, it's got a little plastic fitting and you have to push it into the wand or the gun or the handle, however you want to look at it. The fit and finish, the quality of this, if I hold this in my hand right now and just slightly shake it, this whole end of the lance is really wobbly, it's really loose. It's already made out of plastic with a little rubber O-ring. I'm awfully concerned about this over time kind of breaking or losing its connection and start leaking here. The other issue too is this is shaky at the moment. The minute I pull the trigger, when I pull the trigger this stiffens right up and there's no more bounce to the end of that wand. So that's going to happen all the time. You squeeze the trigger, it straightens out the lance, you let go of the trigger and all of a sudden it kind of wants to flop around. I'm worried about the fit and finish here. The other thing is somebody asked me, Scott, how do you have a Karcher that has a quarter inch disconnect on the end of it? I guess Karcher for the most part has those plastic type of fittings and you have to have a special adapter to attach certain type of aftermarket devices. Well this Karcher K3 unit came with this lance. It comes out of the box with it that way. It also comes with a turbo nozzle which is really cool, but you've got to disconnect this whole lance and then put the turbo nozzle in and go ahead and, holy crap, this thing doesn't even want to go in there. And put that in there. And again, even this lance here is shaky. It's wobbly on the end of this thing. I thought I was going to talk about the pros with this thing, right? 
okay, well, this was kind of a pro because if you're a professional detailer or a mobile detailer and you want a karcher that has a quarter inch disconnect on it, that's great, that's wonderful. Now, a lot of people said, Scott, how do you connect your foam cannon to it? Well, we now know you can connect it to it, but folks, this thing is so poorly designed, so cheap, that if I put, hold on a second, folks, I'm just gonna try to do this quickly. Let me take that nozzle off. Let's say this foam cannon was completely filled with 32 ounces of water, and I put it on this thing. Folks, it doesn't have any water in it now, but if I actually hold this thing in my hand over here, it is actually putting a tremendous amount of pressure on this lance. I can feel it wanting to bend and flex. If that foam cannon was full, it'd be far more you know, aggressive with its bend. This doesn't feel like the most this doesn't feel like the most high quality great connection for a foam cannon. If you like Karcher, I'm sorry, but this just doesn't seem like a winner to me. Now, where does this thing shine? Its ability to shine is uh, not all that extensive. Let me grab the camera and show you something. Sorry guys. The ability for this thing to be able to siphon and suck from an open source of water is probably the only thing I can talk about it from a good point of view. This thing has the ability, like if you had a, a tank, five gallon, 10 gallon tank of distilled water and you wanted to suck, from an open source of water, the Karcher pump allows you to do that. But guess what, this thing sucks a tremendous amount of water. I think it's a gallon and a half per minute. It may be even higher than that. That's just gonna mean you're gonna go through a lot of water if you wanna try to hook this up to a distilled water source so you don't get water spots on the car. But that's kind of a cool feature. It will, it will siphon from an open source of water. That's basically my, my review about the Karcher K3. It's called, it's called the follow me unit. If I was bright, I would say this thing should follow me right back to the store I bought it at. I just don't think it's the best Karcher out there. Don't mean to step on toes, but this thing here just has so many issues with it that I'm concerned with its durability and longevity. But I'll live with it. Plus the wheels on this thing, they kind of pop into the bottom of this thing. And I find myself picking this up and moving it around more than even pulling it and the wheels want to fall off, the fit and finish on this thing is just not all that great. I love you, Karcher, but this thing's got to go back to the store, but I'm stuck with it. I should have returned it a long time ago, but I'll make it work in my world. Love you all. Just wanted to share that with you. A lot of people ask me about that. Scott, what is that Karcher you're using? Do you think it would be ben beneficial for my mobile detailing business? I think you guys should look somewhere else. Look at a different Karcher model. I love you guys. Until next time, be safe.